And we're back for what will probably be the last time in the base campaign of Dishonored that I will ever say those words because we have just finished up the Return to the Hound Pit pub mission by neutralizing all the city watch forces here with the help of Piero Solokov or Sokolov, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Sokolov, that's it, right? I don't know why I always want to say Solokov, but anyways. With their with the help of their improved arc pylon, we managed to render all the guards unconscious. We have also located Emily and Admiral Havelock, now calling himself Lord Regent Havelock, so we're out to put an end to his reign of tyranny before it begins, with the help of Samuel. And this is the final mission in this Let's Play, so let's make it a good one. Going to King Sparrow Island, Samuel. That's where they've taken Emily. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to and see. And when you say Lord Regent, I presume you're talking about Burroughs, not our new Lord Regent. So, decent stats for that last mission. We found Emily's drawing, used the pylon to rescue Piero and Sokolov, and we killed seven people. Which is definitely a marked decrease from that mission in the sewers with Dowd's assassins, where we killed over 20 people. <laughs> Mostly just because it was the fastest way to do it, and I was feeling a little vindictive towards them. Though not enough to actually murder Dowd, as it turned out. We did find the one and only rune, and about a third of the gold, so that's nice. Let's carry on. King Sparrow Isle. The light at the end. The leaders of the Loyalist Conspiracy have moved to a monumental lighthouse, the final military project devised by the Lord Regent. They're holding Emily as they struggle to tighten their hold over the city. It's time to confront them, decide their fates, and determine the future of Dunwall. Let's do it. This is it, sir. This is the end of I the road. I suspect Martin and Lord Pendleton landed there a while ago and went into the lighthouse. Knowing them, they're not giving up without a fight. I remember hearing the Admiral and Martin talking about this place as where they'd hold up if they had to. Anybody going in has to breach the fort and the gatehouse, and there's only one way to the top. All I can say is that it's been a pleasure serving with you. Maybe after all this is said, we'll see each other again. Good luck, Corvo. If anyone deserves it, you do. Give my best to Emily. After she's on the throne, she won't have time for an old man like me. Huh. Don't be like that. But somehow you managed to get through all this mess. Of course you'll have time for you. Really matters. For that, I respect you. The city's gonna pull itself up, I believe. Too many good people here to let it all turn to ashes. I'd best be going. The battlefield's no place for an old sailor like me. That time is long past. Good luck, my friend. And that little conversation with Samuel right there is actually an interesting one because it's a point of divergence, shall we say, because how he treats you varies depending on if you're in low chaos, high chaos, or a sort of 
from what I can tell, a middle state, medium chaos, let's just call it. If you're in no chaos, he's really nice and says he respects you and wishes you good luck. Medium chaos, he essentially tells you to fuck off and says he doesn't want to see you again. And if you're in high chaos, if you're in high chaos, he alerts the guards that you're coming. Meaning, you go in, everyone is on high alert, and things are much, much harder. So, yeah. And the game is itself is flagging two entrances we can take. The beach side or the harbor side. But I happen to know from both a combination of my own experience and a few YouTube playthroughs that I've watched that there are actually... There is actually another entrance somewhere over in this direction. We'll see if I could f and manage to find it. There's a door in. It's an entrance through the sewers, essentially. And I do believe it's over. Yeah, right there. Here, there's another entrance we could <clears throat> take. Yeah, gatehouse drainage, as it says. I think that's the one I'm taking. Using the sewers to get in went recently over there, so I'm going to stick with that. Room. 
drainage is the sling has been near here. Choked out, I think. Making off. You're such a chaffer. We'll keep you under here. Since I very much doubt any guards take the time to bend over and look that far down. Or something like this, right? Seems unlikely at any rate. Gatehouse drain. I do believe we have found it. Got it open. Now I just gotta get down to the drainage. And I completely disregarded this chain that was sitting there like an idiot. I could have been here ages ago. Jesus. Now we're into the gatehouse, though. And they just managed to see me through magic or something. Nonsense, actually. Climb this chain up as far as bloody possible. Staying unconscious, I think. And we've got an arc pylon over there. That's gonna be the next thing we gotta deal with. And they have an annoying tendency to try and electrocute you to death. So, if you don't mind, I think we'll just be leaving it be. I could rewire the thing to K 
kill everyone up there. But mixed blessing. That, considering kill everyone up there means everyone up there will be dead, and I'd like them to not be dead. Uh, God. Gotta get up to the lighthouse elevator. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're going to be difficult like this, then I'm afraid I will rewire. Yeah, have fun dying to your own arrogance and stupidity. I should have just done that from the beginning, but I wanted to be merciful. Still, my mercy only goes so far, I'm afraid. And they made me disinclined to continue to offer said mercy. I mean, I'm going to be merciful to people most of the time, but that ain't one of those times. The key to the elevator. Do any of the guards up here have that key? Or have I managed to break something? Okay, this is slightly unfortunate. It would appear that we can't find the elevator key, possibly because of the way I killed that guard. I'm not sure. Easy way, just drop in here. Since I could not find the key. And let's go to the lighthouse. I'm not sure why things happened like that. My best bet was. I have a slight theory about why things unfolded the way they did with the elevator key. Basically, I think that what happened was, since I have the special ability that disintegrates all bodies upon death, they died, their bodies got disintegrated. The remains, the pouch or whatever, where I would be able to loot the key from that one guard that had it, fell off the edge of the platform and into the water, or something to that effect. I think that's what happened. I can't prove it, but it seems the most likely out of every outcome. So, if that's not the case, and anyone cares to inform me of the alternative, then please do. Thankfully, at least the door opens in this case. That's all very nice. Now, we just need to reach the lighthouse, which is very indeed. close by so. indeed. And now it's time for the little blink shenanigans. To get over to where we want to go. Provided I can pull it off correctly, that is.
or we could fall to our deaths because I didn't time things correctly. Maybe I'm not able to do it like that, I don't know. Not seeing anyone else over there. Burn a dart. By knocking him out. does not seem to patrol, unfortunately. It's just leaning against the edge. That's the way it appears, anyhow. Yep, he's just leaning there. So, it's going to be either take him out violently, or I burn another sleep dart on that guy. Art's not telling me anything, and honestly, I couldn't be bothered to try and get any of the runes on this level, because we're not gonna spend them on anything, and it's the end of the game, so it doesn't bloody matter. This is the way I see it. can't choke people out while dangling on a ledge, or dangle on ledges in the first place, then yeah. And he wouldn't know. Apparently he does move, so kudos for that. I thought he didn't, just because... I think all my pre past the wonder... I think that the last time I played this game, I just blew by this guy so quickly and just offed him with a sleep dart huh? that he didn't have time Someone to do get over here. Come on, a promotion for the man who killed this one. Okay, waste some goddamn sleep darts there. I'm now down to just one, which... I would like to keep one for the purpose of trying to capture Havelock alive. Into the lighthouse. And must therefore now rescue Emily. And I can hear Havelock talking faintly in the background. There's a little bit of a undertone of madness to him, though. I think we pushed Havelock to the point where he realizes he has lost everything, and he's just gonna be... and that will be why, as you'll see in a moment or two, he is just up here drinking. Yes. That's all that's going on. Havelock is just drinking. But an empress grown to years to grow up. And by the time she does, she's young. Emily the first could reign for 60, 70 years if she's cast yeah, there's half lock. Oh. Look how much we've changed the city already. The golden age is coming. And no one will ever know what I had to do for her. And you will. Martin is dead. Right all Martin's fault. We hadn't helped Corvo get out of prison. Corvo hadn't been so damn good at his okay. job. We had to free not him. get seen now by Havelock. Always too sure that would be the problem. Never hesitated. Too sure of what I wanted. Too sure of what I wanted to do when other men stopped to consider. Yeah. So I was Havelock, I know Corvo's kind of just, just like him to turn the around. Like the only question and how and when. he's going to have, have some unconscious time. It's all falling apart. Yeah, Havelock's just down here and I was young, I went to see. 
took command of a ship and made English At this point, Havelock is just trying to forget how terrible the situation he's gotten himself into now. Honestly, with how broken, honestly, that Havelock seems at this point, if it weren't for the fact that he betrayed us, Corvo would almost feel sorry for him, I think. But he did betray us, so... Well... We're not going to kill Havelock. We'll have to neutralize him, I think. And then, well, we don't find out what his fate is. I imagine he gets locked up in Coldridge forever and possibly shares a cell block with our good friend Burroughs, the ex-Lord Regent. in my direction. So, now we will neutralize Havelock. And leave him for the authorities. That's Emily crying for help now. Havelock has been dealt with, so now let's let Emily out and be done with this. Is it going to be okay now? Will I be Empress? Yes, you will. And don't worry about Havelock. If I have anything to say about it, he will be going to jail for a long, long time. So. Four bodies were found, and we killed five people and rescued Emily. And found none of the collectibles. Because I honestly couldn't be bothered to look for them, considering it is literally the last mission of the game. And... Now for the end. So ends the Interregnum, and now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. And for the first time in the game, we actually get to see Corvo's face. You watched a, a, a nice reward for completing the game, I have to admit. You held back instead of striking so it is with the passing and of the clay that and that's about how comes we a golden held back about and showed her. restraint rather than just indiscriminately butchering everyone is the indication of low chaos because if we were high chaos it would have indicated something to the effect of emily ascended her throne over a mountain of corpses and she would have essentially ruled as a tyrant. And decades hence, when your hair she turns white, saw, pass from this world. Because Emily's young Empress and impressionable, Emma, she's watching what waters, you're doing and sees that as lay your the approach her great she should have taken. You and her, and, and she takes that. Which is really interesting how your actions influence Emily. I really like that. That that, ladies and gentlemen, was dishonored. And I said this before and I'll probably say it a billion million times more, but Dishonored, I have to say, is one of my favorite games ever. It is just an absolutely phenomenal stealth game. And unlike some other stealth games I've played, I love how when you're discovered, that's not the end of it. Like, with Styx Master of Shadows, which is another stealth game that we'll probably visit this channel at some point, I play that on the hardest difficulty, which essentially, if you get discovered, 
and you can't parry literally every attack thrown at you, you will die in one hit. I like how in Dishonored, you have some recourse. Or if you're discovered, you can neutralize the person who discovered you and go back to being stealthy. I really like that. But yeah, this was just a phenomenal game. It's a, one of the best stealth games I've ever played. And the story was just great, and the whole conspiracy thing was really neat. And I've heard from some people how they didn't like the betrayal arc with Havelock and the rest of the loyalists and felt like Dowd's story was just kind of boring and tacked on and unnecessary because that whole mission didn't have a single assassination in it if you chose not to kill Dowd. But I actually kind of disagree. I really enjoy the actual mission. The whole sewers flooded district mission. I thought it was really cool. For one thing, it gives you a nice personal look at the way things are in some of the condemned districts because you're hearing throughout the game about how a whole bunch of the city has been cordoned off and condemned because of the plague, but you don't see anything. You don't really get to see, beyond like the weepers and such, what those areas are actually like. You have to just sort of assume it, but that level is the first time you get an up-close look at it. I just love that. <sighs> Anyways, I absolutely adore this game. I'm sure that's been obvious at this point. And I am so glad I decided to play it. I really am. But this will not be the end of my Dishonored playthroughs on this channel. Not by a long shot. This was actually this is actually a fairly short game, at least in the way I played it. I know it can be a bit longer if you play more of the content because. This was not in any way a completionist run. I wasn't trying to unlock everything. I got what I got when I got it, and I'm fairly happy with the way this playthrough turned out, but because it was pretty short, only about 9-10 episodes total, when usually 30 episodes is about the minimum that any series I've ever done has ended up being. Maybe 27. Really? But because of that, I am going to immediately follow this up with a let's play of the two Dishonored DLCs, The Knife of Dunwall and Brightmoor Witches. Because I've never actually finished either of those, and I really want to finish them both before I start on Dishonored 2, because I do actually plan on going through the entire Dishonored series. And it's an excellent series. I really love it. And I can't wait to see what things are like for Knife of Dunwall. So that will be following basically immediately after this. So I will shut up now and let you enjoy the rest of the credits. But again, thank you so, so much to everyone who watched this. I have thoroughly enjoyed playing Dishonored again, and I'm sure I will enjoy Knife of Dunwall, Brightmoor Witches, and Dishonored 2 just as much. So thank you so much for watching, and thank you for liking if you've liked, and subscribing if you've subscribed, or even if you've just sort of sat here and watched in silence and not done anything, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I will see you again for whatever video of mine you decide to watch next. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time. So long for now.